And I had no reason to think that they had done anything wrong recently. Summer camp is canceled for some students in North Texas. A grapevine pastor just called off the planned camp at his church. And one year ago, our I team dug into the history of the faith based ministry that was organizing the camp. Now, Ginger Allen is explaining why that history is affecting churches this summer. The timing was just terrible. Pastor Doug Page says the First Baptist Church of Grapevine has hosted a Canica Christian day camp for the last couple of years. No problems at all. But this year, they called Canacook and said, don't come. Part of my job is not just to, to feed, to teach, but it's also to shepherd. I kind of had one of those parenting moments. Pastor Doug says it was simply bad timing. His decision to suddenly cancel followed the Southern Baptist Convention's bombshell report, this recent national article about Canacook's past, and this warning from the National Center on Sexual Exploitation about Canacook camps. In Missouri, at West Plains Baptist Church, Pastor John King is taking a firmer stance. He sent me this public letter he recently wrote stating, depositions show there were felonies against children committed in 1999 and in 2003. And years later, Canacuck's leadership continues to lack transparency. He goes on to ask other churches to also end their partnerships until the truth about what happened with Pete Newman is openly confessed. Pete Newman is a former Canacuck counselor, now serving two life sentences for sexually abusing boys many years ago at the very popular Christian camp. Pastor King and for years others have said the camp did not react quickly enough and or covered up the claims. Canacuck is a nationally known overnight summer camp in Missouri. Since 1926, its website states it's attracted 450,000 campers from all over the world, particularly Texas. It also sponsors day camps at local churches nationwide. That's what Pastor Doug just canceled at his church in Grapevine. 200 kids were signed up. Next week is when they would have been here. I've got a story. The I team began following the accusations against Canacuck one year ago when we brought alleged victims and their loved ones together for the first time ever. They were on a mission for awareness, accountability, justice, and perhaps the greatest reason for the individuals at home that haven't came out yet. Some had filed lawsuits, and more frustrating, some had settled, saying they were silenced to never tell their stories. Did the camp ask you to sign a non-disclosure? Yeah. Today, they are all still part of this ongoing online campaign where more than 26,000 people have now signed a petition to release the victims from their non-disclosure agreements. Every summer, they also campaign churches to cancel the camps, exactly what Pastor John and Pastor Doug just did. Again, Pastor Doug is not accusing Canacuck of any wrongdoing. He says canceling was simply a timely move that sends a message to pastors. Don't take for granted um, that everyone that comes into your congregation is safe. Do your homework. And to parents. Bring your kids close, encourage them, love them, tell them that there is hope. Ginger Allen, CBS 11 News. Now, Kanika did not want to do an interview with us. Instead, it sent a statement to the I-team saying, as soon as Kanika became aware of abuse, we took action, including immediate termination and reporting of Pete Newman. We continue to offer support to our victims. It went on to say, our child protection plan, which contains over 340 identifiable and measurable protective elements, is integrated throughout the Canacuck organization. Now that was just part of the statement. I have put the entire statement on our website at cbsdfw.com. Ginger, one thing we know for sure, lots of moms and dads are mm -hmm. watching tonight. They're about to send their kids to summer camp. Mm -hmm. And it's supposed to be an exciting, fun time, right? Summertime, being out. What should kinds be. of, yeah, should be. What kinds of conversations should mom and dad be having with their kids and even with maybe other parents as they get ready to do this? Okay, we have some advice for you, and that advice actually comes straight from the group we put together a year ago. So, from those victims and their alleged families, they say speak early and often about body parts, improper conversations, and sexual situations. Have talks about being manipulated teach your kids boundaries and when it comes to those camps look to see if they're accredited and i can't stress this part enough don't hesitate to call the camp and ask about the history background checks staff training and safety protocols it's okay to make those calls and do that it is it's all really important stuff always wonderful work from the i team thanks, thanks ginger